So how do you decide the number of mappers and number of reducers in a Hadoop cluster? So this interview question basically tests your knowledge about the Hadoop cluster, whether you really understand the you know performance tuning part of Hadoop clusters, whether you really understand how to set the config parameters according to the requirements of your Hadoop cluster. So basically if you think about it, <coughs> while setting up the Hadoop cluster, we set number of parallel mappers that can run on a particular data node and we also set number of reducers that can run on one data node right so that means how many parallel reducers can run on one data node right <coughs> so uh, the easy answer is like you decide the number of mappers based on the number of cores on a you know uh, data node Right. If you have, let's say, 12 cores on a data node, you typically would like to run 12 parallel tasks. So you will set the number of mappers as 12, right, for that data node. And number of reducers is something that basically is, you know, decided on per job basis. So some of the jobs might require you to run single reducer because they want all the output to be sorted and presented in one file whereas some other jobs might require you to you know segregate your output in different parts and based on the number of parts that you need in your output you might set more number of reducers right <coughs> now uh, <coughs> when when you say you can set the number of mappers uh, normally equal to the number of cores that's not always true now <coughs> think of an example where let's say you have a 12 core machine and let's say the total amount of RAM on this machine is 50 gigabytes. Okay. Now, if every mapper task in in uh, typically your jobs, let's say requires uh, 10 gigabytes of memory, so it loads some static data to you know look up and annotate your streaming data. Okay. So every map task, let's say, requires 10 gigabytes of RAM. So in that case obviously your number of mappers is limited by the num you know amount of ram in your system and not limited by the number of cores in your system so basically the number of mappers is a function of two things one is your number of cores another is your ram so typically if uh, every map task requires 10 gigabytes of ram and your system has 50 gigabytes of ram you would typically run four or five mappers on every data node right because you you won't have enough memory to run more than that you know uh, number of mappers so typically when you are actually deciding the hardware configuration for your cluster that is the time when you should be you know deciding uh, hardware according to your job requirements so for example in this case if your job requires every map task to be loading 10 gigabytes of memory you will be actually wasting cores if you are having 12 cores either you go with 12 cores and you know more than 120 gigabytes of ram or you go with 50 gigabytes of ram and roughly four or five cores right so that will be like optimal use of your resources now coming to the number of reducers so your number of reducers is basically you know uh, based on per job basis if let's say i have a job whose output i want to be sorted in one single file then i'll be running one reducer for that particular job right if i have a job which let's say produces four different output files i don't want them to be clubbed together in one single file right because if i'm doing that i am actually not optimizing my job because i'll be sorting you know the complete data the output of the reducer is sorted right if you are basically running one reducer where you do not need all the output to be sorted then you are basically wasting your competition on sorting the complete data whereas if you could have four reducers here all the four chunks of data would be sorted separately which is like more efficient than sorting all of them together so your number of reducers is basically decided on per job basis and your number of mappers is a function of you know uh, uh, your cores and memory now when you say number of mappers we are talking about the number of parallel mappers that can run on one data node right otherwise the total number of mappers in a job depends on the total input data so if you have let's say 100 gigabyte of input data to be processed and your split size is for for the sake of simplicity let's say your split size is one gigabyte so your job will be running total hundred mappers 
Now, how many of those 100 mappers can run in parallel? Basically, depends on number of machines, cores per machine, and your RAM per machine. Right? So, that's, you know, a very good interview question, which typically you will get in Hadoop developer interview. So, that is a way to think about it. If you have any better answers, I would like to hear from you in the comments. Thank you very much.